I'll start my tour approaching the display trailer. You can see my new banner. This year is almost all Ellis Chalmers tractors. I don't have enough Ellis Chalmers equipment to make it totally Ellis. This garage is a 16th scale model of the one that was at my grandfather's farm in West Mulberry, Massachusetts. The garage is still standing, but it has been modernized. I have a little workbench with toolbarks and made use of an old tractor that I had parts left over from another project. An old Ford truck was common on our farm. WD and uh, WC rather and Model C with the plows. Always had a ladder hanging on the back wall by the air compressor. Behind that, I have an old oil pull and Advanced Rumley 6, which was probably the last model made by Advanced Rumley before Ellis Chalmers bought out the company. And a K crawler with a blade. A 170 with a, what is painted up as an Ellis Chalmers baler. It was not originally one. An 8030 with a new idea a spreader that I made a new beater for the back. Alice Chalmers Model G, D12, a G with a plow. This is the back side of the barn uh, from modeled from my grandfather's farm. That was a 43rd scale to tractor so with that, so I made that. Had the cow stable. And, Silo inside the barn. Cows had to go down some pretty rough steps to get out of the barn. I made the insulage blower to, to draw attention to the fact that there's a silo inside. It was just a rough model of the house that was on the farm. That house is still standing, but greatly upgraded from what it was when I remembered it. And there's a smaller scale model of the barn, I mean the garage, and the chicken coop over in the back. Over in the back there, I have Model RC, a UC that I, made out of a Model U and a Model WC. The parts left over from that's what's in the big garage. And there's a WF in the back that I made from a, a WC. And then there's an un, unstyled WC in the back. I have some Dutzalis tractors. One eighty five with a cheap old blade that came with a farm set. D seventeen with a spreader, D ten with a wagon, a D twenty one with a round baler. And over here is the only John Deere tractors you'll see on the layout. And these are here because it's a tribute to a 
a friend who died much too young. He always brought a M and a, a G, I guess it is, or an H. Yeah. He always brought those to the fair for the antique tractor display. There's my 30 second scale Alice Chalmers from four wheel drives. In the back side of a barn that I got for Christmas, probably around 1950. There's my new display this year of a pulling setup. My nephew pulls a WC and a WD-45, so I use those for my setup. This I'll show you from the other side better. That would be the trailer that he moved them on. Eighty thirty that I got set up like it was being used to pull the sled back. Ninety one fifty with a gravity wagon. And I'll show you these others from the other side better. There's the only one twelfth scale. Alice Chalmers that I have, a WC, that was missing the seat, so I made a seat for it. A little scene with a man with a chainsaw, so I put a weed in there for a tree. And up above we have an Agco 9650 with a harrow, with a 7080 in the back there. Well, 190 XT that I totally rebuilt. Another Dutz Alice. 180 with another baler that has been made over to, to be an Alice Chalmers. It wasn't really. Wagon I made to go with it. Back of a rotor baler. That mower I made for the B. WD-45 diesel. Model U. And Alice Chalmers Model C that I made a loader to duplicate the locally made one that we had. The cultivators on the other C. Another WD-45. Or, no, that was a... Plain WD. 160 was one of two that I couldn't find at a reasonable price in the in the scale models, so I made that one. This model B was a sold as a model C, but it was narrow front end, and the, the rear was the width of the, the model. B, so I made it over into a Model B with the adjustable front. I made the mower for this little lawn tractor. Made a snap coupler for the CA and a set of plows on it, but I made the mistake of making the wrong scale. I used plows from a 112th scale to, as a pattern for the mow boards. And this uh, little garage setup I made just for a place to put the few 160, uh, 164th scale that I have. Up above there's an old wooden truck that I made for my son when he was little and I had a Dodge Club cab. It was red and white. The old Tonka forklift. That truck there I found buried in a gravel bank on the property that I'm on right now about 50 years ago. Threw it under my workbench and figured someday maybe I'd uh, do something with it. And the old Mark's tractor was uh, apparently belonged to uh, my neighbor next door. His widow gave it to me after he died to add to my collection. Then I have D14 that was a National 
or World Pork Expo tractor one year with the loader. And that must be a 180 up there next to it. The H3 crawler with uh, the backhoe. And we'll come around to the back. I pulled this trailer with um, a, a red four-door uh, Chevy Colorado. So I found that model and decided I was going to make one to display it. I made the little block tractors and then found a couple of those to go in the in there. This cornfield was the first display that I made up. If you're ever going to do it, use foam board so you don't have to drill holes for the toothpicks. There's over a thousand toothpicks in that display. A lot of holes to drill. And I've got a 64th scale uh, WD because of the the rake was a 64th, and then the, the other two are 43rd scale, the rotor baler and the wagon that I made up just to go with the, the scene. The Universal Hobbies uh, tractors are well detailed for the size of them. They are fragile though. In this scene, I just uh, converted, uh, I had some non al Shalmas tractors in it. I didn't have an Alice Chalmers with a loader on this scale, so I substituted uh, my little skid steer. And this is the barn that I said I got for Christmas around 1950. I had to remake the fence and the the hog shed is missing from it. The silo was a can for cocoa mix. The Silver King I uh, I made because uh, my grandfather traded his Silver King for the first Model C that he bought. And that was the start of our family having Alice Chalmers. The old 612 I made up because, again, I couldn't find a reasonably priced one. And the Dutes tractor is simply because Alice Shelmans and Dutes uh, were in uh, cahoots for a while. So I bought a couple of those, uh, the, the 143rd down here and the 116th scale Dutes. That's why I have those in this display. And uh, 1220 is it? Odd configuration with the front wheel off to one side instead of centered. We've got D10 on the rake here. You can see the B with the mower in the background. 175 on, on the hay conditioner. WD-45 on the rotor baler. The 8010. Doing a little field work. Model A, Alice Thomas. I think I have every uh, Letter uh, yeah, letter series of uh, Shomas that was made in the United States represented in this display. This 7080 was a, a basket case uh, that someone gave me. The plow was missing the tail wheel and the uh, cab top and the muffler were missing on this. The rear axle was all twisted. So I put in a new axle and made a cab top. Then my 
8630 pulling a six row planter. D19 pulling a two row corn chopper. My gravity wagon on the one ninety one fifty. And the other view of the pulling setup here. The sled uh, I made up just to go with the pulling tractors. And this window panel is hinged so that I can close. I pulled the stone windows out here so that it would video better. And this display has been popular with uh, people. I had the one cylinder engine, so I used the blade off from, off from a uh, little tool that I had to make a saw rig. And then I uh, made up the, the sled to bring the, the wood in, made the wagon to haul it away. And then I had to find a team of horses and I made those harness. I couldn't find any that were commercially made. Then the old Doc Adams buggy just seemed to go with the rest of the scene. So that's what my display is.